Hello everyone, this is Chrisum, and I'd like to invite you to another conversation about your Kundalini Awakening experience. And in this conversation, I would like to discuss with you the idea of resisting the changes that the Kundalini brings. Now, I, I'm fairly certain I have brought this up in, in some of the earlier uh, uh, videos, but this is, it bears repeating. A lot of the teachings that I do bear repeating, they bear repetition. It's important that you hear it again within a different context of the way it was brought up with you the first time. Okay? It's very important that this gets into the multiple layers of what it is to be a human with five bodies of expression. Physical body, emotional body, mental body, psychological body, and spiritual body. So within that context, let's talk about what it is to resist the changes that the Kundalini will bring to you. And I have to tell you this right off the bat. It will bring changes. Change is one of the most difficult things that a person has to deal with in this lifetime. Not many people like it. They don't like change. The ego does not like change. Okay, And yet, here comes Kundalini, and it's, it's not going to just change you on one level. It's going to change you on multiple levels, on five different levels at the same time. Okay, So we're talking massive amounts of change in, in, in all areas of life. All areas of your expressive feeling life. You're going to experience change with the Kundalini from. Now, it does happen all at the same time, but it doesn't happen at the same time in a damaging way. Only if you resist do you bring damage upon yourself. You have to remember that Kundalini is a divine force. It has a divine agenda. And so for you to resist what's happening to you is tantamount to resisting God. You are resisting God's agenda for you. God's plan for you. Not a good idea. It can be a very, very, uh, it can unleash a very unfortunate sequence of events upon you to resist the Kundalini in this way. I, I, and it doesn't matter if you haven't striven to have Kundalini, if you haven't tried to inculcate it, if you, you know, if it wasn't something that you were asking for. It doesn't matter. It's come for you. This is your divine life. This is the time for the change to happen to you, whether you've been searching for it or not. It doesn't matter. Kundalini is here now. Its agenda is here now. And the best thing you can do is to not resist that agenda. Allow it to occur. Take a step back and allow yourself to, to let the Kundalini agenda take the... Take the the priority in your life. Now, here's the thing. It's because we're in the West, we have jobs, we're, we're a, we're a te technological society. The Kundalini is a conscious force within you. It's conscious. It's understanding this video as I say it. It's helping me to formulate the words for this video. I am, I am Kundalini divine and, and, and human mortal blended at the same time. And so are you becoming that very same thing. So, so you may think, because I never have any scripts for the, any of these uh, videos, these this 175 videos, whatever it is. No scripting. It's all extemporaneous, except that the Kundalini has complete control. I, as an ego individual, step back or, or blend in to the, the divine communication. This is why the Kundalini is carried on the voice. Don't resist this. You can make arrangements with the Kundalini saying, Oh, Kundalini, Kundalini, divine presence within me. I can't have spontaneous vocal uh, kriyas while I'm at work. I, I, I work in a library. I can't be, be you know, screaming at the top of my lungs, not through pain, but just through the, the vocal excitation of the Kundalini. I, you know, at night when I'm at home and I live way out in the country, whatever, you know, nobody's going to hear me. Please bring those kriyas then and let me have my work time for myself and for the job that I do. 
And the kundalini will hear that and go, yep, yeah, not a problem. Boom. You won't have the vocal kriyas. And it's the same with spontaneous kriyas. Say, say you're a driver, you know, you're driving a truck, or you're driving a limousine, or you're driving a, you're a personal driver for somebody, uh, elderly people. And you can't have a, a physical kriyas that twist you into different positions while you're driving the car. Okay, and you may feel, you feel that electricity. It, it's almost like a, 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 a nervous urge that comes on a body part. And that, that body will naturally want to go into a different kriya. Okay, talk with the kundalini, kundalini divine within me. As you know, I'm a driver. I will give you all my time outside of my job to have the physical kriyas. I will give that to you. I just need to be able to drive uh, my clients safely and myself safely. And boom, as long as you live up to your end of the bargain, the kundalini will live up to its end of the bargain. So in that context, you're not resisting. You're, 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 you're beginning to, to understand that the kundalini is a sentient consciousness, a thinking, feeling, understanding, comprehending consciousness within you, okay? It is a force of the divine within you, and so it hears you and it understands you, and it's waiting for you to understand its sentience within you. Now, for some of the folks that just refuse to accept this, it's like, you know, this is absolutely not, this is just a bunch of baloney, I'm not gonna believe any of this, this is my body, I wanna do what I wanna do, they're gonna have a really, really rough time. Because it isn't just your body anymore. It's the body that God gave you, that the divine has given you, and that you have agreed before you even took the body to have a kundalini expression in this lifetime. So as you resist the, the movements and the, the, uh, the, the activation and the awakening of the kundalini within you by taking drugs or, or just by having a bad attitude, you're going to experience some, some very, very painful, painful lessons. Kundalini can be merciless because it's coming from the inside out. It's not an outside force coming to the inside. It's already within you, and it's expressing itself outward. It will control, it will want to control your actions. It will want to control what you feel, what you see, what you think, what you smell, what you hear, all of it. Okay. It will want to control those things. And if you're in resistance to all of that, if you're not talking to it, or if you're not accepting its presence within you with love and grace and, and allowing and surrendering you know, to that divine agenda, then you're going to have a very, very, very rough time. And it, it will most certainly uh, bring you into a psych ward experience where you'll, you, know, you may be put in a, uh, in a straight jacket and, and, and strapped to a table and they might try electrotherapy on you, which is shocking you. They may, I mean, they may try all kinds of primitive, chemical-based uh, procedures that are, that are what they call SOP, Standard Operating Procedures. Uh, very, very, very un unfortunate, very, very hurtful, and you don't have to go there. Just don't resist the Kundalini. If you need help with it from a living person, email me. My email is kfireforall, K-F-I-R-E-F-O-R-A-L-L, -L, at yahoo.com. Email me. Let me know what your situation is, and, and I'll be able to help you with it. But the scenario is, is the very first thing that you can do to help yourself is to not resist the kundalini. The other thing you want to look at is most people don't know about kundalini. The medical field call it a spiritual emergency, and they, you know, the first thing they're going to do is try to give you chemicals, try to give you drugs, typically SSRI drugs, which you know are the worst thing you can give for a kundalini person, or lithium. They'll try to give you lithium, which isn't so bad. Uh, don't go that way. This is intentional upon you. This isn't some. This, you're not sick. This is not a disease. This is a grace. This is something that millions and millions and millions of people are trying to have on this world right now. See it as the grace that it is. Understand it as the grace that it is. And give 
a complete, undeniable surrender and allowing for these changes to be made upon you. It is a beautiful, gracious experience, a loving, divine experience, unless you resist it. Then it can be quite the opposite. Thanks for watching.